how this all works. If we go back to Maya and look at a thing called UV Texture Editor, we have the ability to look in here and say, well, this is the UVs. And no matter how far I stretch them or combine them or do what with them, they're always going to be a square. In other words, that one where I tweaked it out a little bit and I made it a little bit stretched. I'm going to go into color and I'm going to reload this. And then I'm going to go tile. And you can definitely see that I have a stretch on there. Okay, it's, a, it's wider now, it's taller. But if you look at the texture itself, it's not tall. Okay, and just to kind of show you how this works is if I resize this object, the texture resizes with the object. If I go in here to the UVs and size the UVs, Okay. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, and what I like about it is this is a square wall, so it's easy. But what happens when your wall isn't squared? <laughs> you know what I mean? What if, let's say, we live in a real world where walls weren't square, and walls are more like this? Okay. Does your brick now match up? look at the t size of the brick corresponding to the size of the object. No, it doesn't. And if the wall was like this big, let's say it was one huge polyplane that stretched all the way across like that, and I go edit freeze transformation so it's a one to one to one ratio, what happens with my texture? Well, I would need to do this with my texture. Oops. And I take off snap. I would need to do that to my texture in order for it to make sense. Is that legitimate? No, it is not. So what happens here in Unity? If I need to make a longer brick wall, how does that work? If I just make it here, if I scale it this way, here's my big, huge brick wall. Does that make sense? Mm, yes and no. If I go in here and say tile, I would now want to tile it in X. four times, maybe eight times, and you can start seeing it come back. 12, 12. Alright, so I'd have to tile that a little bit more here in Unity, and I would want to do that. I wouldn't want to do this in Maya. Doing this in Maya is absolutely the wrong thing to do. You want your texture to lay it at a one-to-one -one ratio corresponding to a square. So this is correct. This object, being a wall, should fit within the boundaries of this first square. And that way, when you're in the engine, you can adjust it by just tiling it. And that's how that works. And that's why I choose brick, because I can show such demonstrations as that and they make sense. Where'd that wall go? There it is. All right, so now when you're, when you're building a level and stuff, what happens when two materials come into play? Because I couldn't sit here and tile my material, right? Because if, if, that, if that was the case, I would be stretching the other material out. So now we're going to kind of look at it that way. What happens when we have two materials interfacing in the same game model? And then that's in the next video.